All right, so today we're going to be building a floor um, to replace a rotted floor and a slide out. Uh, so some of the things that we've purchased or obtained to do this job is we needed our wood first. So we got two sheets of plywood that would uh, equal up to an inch and a quarter thick because the floor that we're replacing is an inch and a quarter thick. Some of your slide floors are going to be thinner, some are going to be thicker. This particular one is an inch and a quarter thick. So we've got our plywood here uh, to get us there. We're going to need our wood glue so that we can glue the two sheets together. We're also going to use deck screws to screw it together. So once we get the glue on there, we're going to lay the two sheets together and we're actually going to glue uh, screw the two sheets together uh, so that uh, everything can dry, cure out, and everything is flat. Uh, I use inch and a quarter deck screws. That does mean that some of the screw is going to stick out on the other side, and that's fine because we're going to flip this thing over here in a little bit, and we're going to take our little grinder and we're going to um, trim the tips of the screws off. We also needed our skill saw, our circular saw. Uh, for two reasons, we need to be able to cut this whole floor to size, but we also need to cut an angle on the end of the board because this is a drop-in slide. It actually goes out and then drops down. So we need that slight uh, slope on the end of it. So we're gonna use this skill saw for that. We're gonna build a fence and put a fence here so that we can cut down the length of the sheet and cut our angle in there. Once we get our angle cut, we're going to clean that angle up with a planer. So I have a planer here and we're going to clean that angle up. Now we also uh, just a second ago talked about the screws are going to come through and we're going to trim the tips of the screws off. Well when we trim those off we're going to be digging down into the wood just a little bit. So we're going to use wood glue and some sawdust mixed together and we're going to fill those little divots in and we're going to clean that up uh, with the uh, sander or something of that nature uh, to make everything nice and pretty. Once we get our wood glued together and we get everything set just the way that we want, we get our angle cut on it and everything, we're going to coat that this whole floor, the sides, the top, the bottom, everything with Durabac 18. This is a coating that's used on boats. Uh, I like to use it because it's a very nice slick finish and, uh, and it completely encapsulates that wood. So if it was to be uh, submerged in water, the wood is not going to rot. So this is the stuff I use. Um, also what I will do is I will change out the trim piece that's on the bottom of the slide and I will remove the plastic slide skis because uh, they're notorious for coming out on their own anyway. Uh, I will remove both of those items and we're going to replace it with a piece of angle iron, uh, aluminum angle. And it's going to now um, basically make the sidewall and the floor into one piece. It's going to be a transition piece and there's no potential for water damage on the sides of the wood and there's no potential for water intrusion. So this is one of the things that I will do uh, when I replace a slide floor, and that's what we're going to do here. Now, we're going to attach it to the side wall, but we're not going to run any screws from the floor, you know, through this to the floor. We're going to attach this using either Sika or ProFlex or something of that nature. Uh, to attach that aluminum to the new wood on the bottom of the slide. So this is another thing that we needed. We're also going to need a tape measure, a pin, straight edge, uh, a square, and, and some other, you know, uh, oddball items that uh, may pop up in the video. All right, we're going to spread our glue. And I'm just going to pour a little bit down through here and then we'll just take the roller and basically squeegee it. Thank you. 
corner. mixed our sawdust and wood glue, made our wood filler. Um, so we're going to fill every one of these divots. Now we're going to sand the dried uh, wood glue. Screw us a couple of feet to it. And get it over here on some real good solid floor. We've built a fence on the end of our circular saw. We've attached it to it. I'm running about a 30 degree angle. And we're going to come down through here and saw this thing off. Going to use our planer to help clean up these edges. I'm going to clean the surface off so that we can apply the Duraback 18. It is a roll on. Now, when you order the Duraback 18, you're going to want to order the smooth black. All right, so we're going to remove this slide. The trim on the inside has already been removed. Um, the electrical has already been disconnected. The only thing left to do is dismount the room bar from the inner arms. Carry it over to our table. Smell how nasty this is. Get a 
group started. Let's give it a dunk. We're going to seal up this side before we put the aluminum angle on. This is going to ensure that we do not get any uh, water intrusion. Now we'll get this all set up. Okay, well, let's do this, Don. All right, so we're setting it up. Let me take these things off. Come on. Come on. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can pull that slide in just uh, about a couple of inches. 